Welcome to the greatest pressure washing channel in the universe. What up guys, Mike here, Olin's Pressure Washing Entrepreneur Army. Today we did a roof cleaning, driveway, the whole nine. But I'm going to show you some bleach neutralizer that I use and how I use it and other like great ways to use it actually. And just I think you can make your equipment last. And then I show you guys some tips on, I think people confuse barrel tiles as the same thing as asphalt shingle roofs. Uh, there's a lot of differences in how you clean them. It's basically the same thing as far as cleaning solution and stuff like that, but the whole technique and process is completely different. So I'm gonna explain myself in that. A lot of the people in the comments seem to get uh, concerned about me being up there on that type of roof and whatnot. But uh, I'll explain that in the video. Also, I had some thieves take some of my equipment. They broke in. Uh, they must have used bolt cutters, it looks like, because the lock was sheared off. They took some things, but follow along, guys. I'll break that all down. Hope you enjoy. Here we are, barrel tile roof, not too big, not super dirty. Oh, got my valve open here. Gotta keep that shut. All right, so we're up on this roof. This is the barrel tile roof, and this is something, a flat roof. They call it a, I think a B-U-R, a burr for short, built up roof. Basically, it's just a flat asphalt roof, which is pretty simple with this going on. And then I'll hop up the other side here, very carefully. Here I go, walking on the roof, the dangerous. I'm slipping all over the place. To the layer of the slipping, sliding roof. Here I go. Walking. And slipping and sliding. On the deathly layer of the barrel tile roof. Do not walk on them. Do not. Alright guys, on this video I wanted to do a voiceover just to go over some things with barrel tiles. A lot of people are getting worried that I'm up on these roofs and I just wanted to at least explain my, myself and maybe teach some of you that may be cleaning barrel tiles in the future. So they're a different animal, alright? So what I'm doing is treating it. It doesn't matter if you're doing it from the top first down or the bottom up. Like a house you want to treat from the bottom up. But a roof doesn't really make a difference because what we're doing is we're treating the organic stains on the roof. We want to let it sit there. Now, yes, if there is no gutters, I will come back. And even if there is gutters, I try to rinse like at least a third of the roof. This way it's just diluted in case it only rains just a tad. I don't want that stuff coming down on plants. If it rains really heavy, that's great. You'll be okay. But we don't know if that's going to happen all the time. So I coat it. I rinse a third up to get the gutters all cleaned off and surfactant is another big issue with or it's a big it's something that's really needed for this because if it don't stick it's going to run off much faster than the asphalt shingle and that's why sometimes I got to get up there and kind of spray paint it on a fan pattern. Hope that helps. We just rinsed there it's looking really good still a little wet too I took a picture before it got rinsed and it's so much lighter but those of you that have a hard time like in the beginning I always had a hard time uh, getting the faces like the faces right here so I would treat them over and over again I would get a brush brush them with the 50 50 or straight but after I'm done cleaning the roof what I do is I hop down and I walk around with my roof pump same percent mix and I just go around with like a five degree and hit all the edges. After a few minutes, I uh, send Anthony or whoever with the M5 twist nozzle with the eight gallon per minute and just 
it what it does is it does two things it rinses the roof it mists the roof to get it the solution down to like a half a percent you know it splits the solution on the roof down and it gets that black stuff off the side now this is with barrel tiles i know a lot of you guys do asphalt shingles and you know you flip out in the comments about how i do things but tile is a whole different animal so anyway basically what i do is i treat it and instead of treating it over and over and over again i treat it once let it just sit up there and then anthony comes about 10 15 minutes later an m5 twist nozzle you know with a pretty straight path and just you know gets it right off you need minimal pressure i'm not talking 3000 psi i'm talking maybe 200 psi tops coming out of that m5 twist maybe 300 and and what it does is it cleans off the you know the black streaks on the edge of the tiles but anyway just wanted to share that with you guys because it took me a while to get to that point um i would always like i said i would brush it over and over again and treat it over and over again risking the chance of killing plants etc but treating it once let it sit and then come back with an m5 twist on a straight shot or maybe like a five degree but yeah it looks good here's another trick counter agent bleach sodium hypochlorite neutralizer i put my uh wand and j rods in a bucket and then i just put a splash of this stuff in and it neutralizes it and then when I'm done, let me put the cap back on. And then when I'm done, I'll dump the bucket in the back of my truck so it drips all down and just rinses everything off in the back. Better, better than nothing if you ask me. It's called a counter agent. Uh, JNN equipment, bleach, sodium, hypochlorite neutralizer, corrosion spray, pump hose, cleans haze off streaks from windows. That same neutralizer, just putting a pump up. Uh, I put like four ounces to a gallon. And I just, just coat, coat the back of my skid. I just coated the back of my skid just to neutralize everything just to be safe then I'll give it a quick rinse you don't need to but I'll give it a quick rinse make it make sure your SH tank is closed all the way you don't want that stuff getting in your SH so my trailer got broken into um, they stole an old machine that I had and about a hundred foot of some old hose it still worked um, obviously they needed it more than I did so I'm not really sweating it but just wanted to point out to you guys don't if you're locking up equipment not every not e everything is uh, completely theft proof all right but you want to buy yourself quality locks any kind of lock like this with a key i mean that's good for like a locker or something like that but if you're keeping equipment uh, i'm just grateful they didn't get nothing really too expensive those of you that know i just moved recently and this was trailer was parked at my old place so it, i honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was someone in the industry of washing and uh it's all right you live you learn but anyway just wanted to point out to you guys these types of locks are so much better they didn't get into the back door they only got into the side door so i uh i have another one of these locks laying around i'll put a link in the description these locks are much better i think they're called a discus a discus lock but yeah get yourself one of these do, don't do yourself a favor and stay away from these locks if you're locking up equipment things like that so like i said they didn't get into the back where i had these locks and luckily it wasn't nothing too crazy that they got 
um, just a lesson learned but just wanted to pay it forward to you guys don't get these types of locks get this type um, I put a link in the description if you need locks and you're using this type don't use these use a discus because it's just if they went bolt cutters that's what they did they cut they cut the bolt right they seared it right in half sheared it and then it comes right out these you can't really get bolt cutters on this is good well don't get me wrong this could probably still get broken into but they didn't manage to get into the back and uh yeah so link in the description get this type check out these videos coming in boom 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 take care guys i appreciate the support check out the facebook page the group listen you got to answer the questions all it's asking is to agree to the rules and stuff like that tell us where you're from if you don't have a company that's fine just put just starting out doesn't matter uh join the facebook group and get a lot of your questions asked right away actually within a couple hours anyway um but yeah anyway check these videos out take care guys thank you for the support